Let's go to our next game. Point of no return. Point of no return. <laughs> Life is a journey full of wondrous milestones, like a baby's first steps, a child's first kiss, jacking off to the DVD box of your mom's workout video. <laughs> Hearing the garage door open and desperately wiping off the DVD before she gets back from the grocery store and crying because you don't know what's happening to your body, and then eventually getting married and having a family of your own. <laughs> so, while universal experiences like those come at different times for different people, Thrillist has compiled a list of things we should stop doing at certain ages. Like, age three, stop sucking your thumb. All right. Age 25, stop working for free. Age 33, stop crying at work. But <laughs> I'm sure 33. someone. 33. 33. <laughs> 33 is the cutoff. Cut that gives you a Seems long pretty time. Far. Yeah, that's yeah. a long time. It's, not great. <laughs> it's 35 in New Jersey. <laughs> uh, I'm sure some were left off the list, so I'd like you to give me some other things you should have gotten over by a certain age in 60 seconds and begin. Randazzo. Age 20, stop marrying Hugh Hefner. Points. <laughs> Hodgman. Age 49, stop kidding yourself that you're anything but meat. Points. <laughs> Paul F. Age 25, stop reading Charles Bukowski. Points. <laughs> Paul F. Tompkins. Age 18, stop being dead for three years. Dogs only. <laughs> <laughs> Points. <laughs> Randazzo. Age 27, stop telling everyone you're an atheist. We fucking know. All right, points. <laughs> Paul F. Age 45, being relevant. All right, points. <laughs> Randazzo. Age seven, stop wetting the bed. Points. Randazzo. Age 67, start wetting the bed again. Points. <laughs> Randazzo. <laughs> Age 81, stop referring to the Irish as dirty potato fuckers, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> points. <laughs> Hodgman. Age 1037, stop drinking the blood of orphans to replenish your wretched life force. <laughs>